Good morning. We're here this morning with Tom Schatz, president of Citizens Against Government Waste. This is Freedoms Forum. I'm Bob Oconee, uh, founder of Freedoms Forum. We're going to talk this morning about pork and earmarks. And uh, Tom, tell me a little bit about the origin of your, of your uh, nonprofit, nonpartisan organization. The Citizens Against Government Waste has been around since 1984. It was created following the Grace Commission report, and that was a group that was put together by President Reagan, composed of 161 senior business executives and 2,000 volunteers, and they did what Ronald Reagan asked them to do. They worked like tireless bloodhounds to examine the operations of the federal government, and then they produced a report that proposed savings of $424.4 billion over three years. When the report was completed, President Reagan asked Peter Grace, who was the chairman of the Grace Commission, and by the way, its formal name was the President's Private Sector Survey on Cost Control, so it's easy to see why they called it the Grace Commission. And he asked Peter Grace not to let the report gather dust on a shelf. So Peter Grace got together with Jack Anderson, the Pulitzer Prize winning syndicated columnist, and they formed Citizens Against Government Waste back in 1984. Originally, a lot of the support for the organization came from the companies that had been involved in helping to write the report. And by the way, the report cost the taxpayers nothing. Uh, $76 million worth of voluntary support, no taxpayer expense. Uh, they created, uh, Jack and Peter together, Citizens Against Government Waste, and the group now has more than a million members and supporters nationwide. We've helped save more than $758 billion for the taxpayers over the past 22 years. And it's pretty much now a citizens-based, grassroots-type organization uh, educating the American people about waste, fraud, abuse, and mismanagement in the federal and even state and local governments. So you published, uh, a, I know you do an annual um, report, you call it the this is, I'm holding here, the 2006 Congressional Pig Book Summary. And uh, this comes out once a year. And it's put out by, again, the Citizens Against Government Waste. And you give grade, grading, uh, grades in here to congressmen and senators. And you list some of the worst uh, examples of pork. Uh, Give us, give us some examples, if you would, Tom. Oh, I don't need the book. You don't need the book. <laughs> we know this well. So in the back of the book, we have the uh, Oinker Awards that we give out every year, about uh, a dozen or so that are the most egregious examples of pork. And then we also have a list of pork per capita by state. And for the last six years, the top porker per capita has been Senator Ted Stevens of Alaska, a Republican, who was until last year the chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee. Uh, he's now the number two member of the Appropriations Committee. And of course, in the minority, he will uh, once again be uh, the second ranking, but on the minority side. And the one thing about pork barrel spending is it is bipartisan. Now, we fully expect the Democrats to come in and take more than their fair share now that they've gotten the chairmanships back of all these subcommittees and full committees. So we'll see West Virginia, headed by Senator Byrd, mm -hmm. which was number one when the Democrats were in charge in the 90s, probably take over as the number one poor per capita state uh, within a year or two of the Democrats taking charge. Tom, the, well, people are talking about uh, earmarks. You hear this constantly, whether it's Lou Dobbs, all of these uh, people that know the problem are talking constantly about earmarks. What are earmarks? Earmarks are broader than pork. That's probably the easiest way to explain it. An earmark is any specific item in a spending bill. And by that, it's either an appropriations bill or an authorization bill. The big highway bill last year, the Bridge to Nowhere, for example, which is probably one of the things that led to the downfall of the Republicans, or at least the perception and reality that they were spending a lot of money. Uh, that was actually in the highway bill which was an authorization bill. That's allowing the money to be spent. The appropriations bills actually enacts. enacts that process and the money then gets obligated by the various agencies. So the Congressional Pay Book has only looked at appropriations bills over the years. The highway bill is once every six years. It's a little hard to compare it. 
Well, the appropriations are done every year, so it's an easier comparison. An earmark can also be in a tax bill where there's a special tax break. Uh, for example, the energy bill uh, that provided tax breaks and in included money to build a Hooters down in Mississippi. Uh, it also included a special project, at least in the Senate originally, for what became known as the Railroad to Nowhere in Mississippi. That was actually eliminated. But the earmarks are a much broader category of specific items in these various bills. The pork barrel projects that Citizens Against Government Waste identifies is a smaller universe. So, for example, in fiscal 2006, we identified $29 billion in pork, yet the Congressional Research Service said the number of earmarks could have been anywhere between 60 and $70 billion. So pork, as we define it, is a subset of earmarks, but we don't really care what they're called. The problem is that it has created all kinds of opportunities for corruption and abuse, and that's what needs to be fixed. I want to thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to talk with you this morning. It's been terrific, and uh, thank you for watching. Okay. 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 All right, Tom. Thanks.